All right, so good afternoon to all of you. Hello, can you guys hear me? Sir, yes, sir. All right, that's good. Doctor, so for the, for the past few meetings that uh, we've been meeting, so all of the laboratories um, that I gave are super easy and then you can actually do them without uh, even knowing what's the logic behind why do you set uh, why do you do such things so in here let's make it a little bit more harder so for your lt spice uh eight and ninth laboratory so i will not give you any schematic okay i'll not give you any configurations so i would like you guys to find out on how to create a dc ac converter and an ac dc converter so uh, creating an AC DC converter is super easy. There's a lot of sources in there that you can find. DC to AC is uh, quite limited, okay? So this is maybe uh, the only one that is uh, hard for you uh, to find too, if ever that uh, you uh, haven't uh, experienced uh, creating uh, a DC to AC converter, right? So to those who have uh, already finished the electro, so you already know what are the ways on how to uh, convert an AC into a DC, okay? So we have three ways for that. And then for DC to AC, so there are, uh, there are also a lot of ways, but I will uh, leave this one to you guys to find out on what are the schematic and then what are the things that you need to do and how to convert a DC into AC. Okay. So I have also uploaded the uh, DC AC converter and then the AC DC converter into our or into your canvas. So feel free to read them so that uh, you can get an additional idea on how to come up with a certain schematic. Okay. So yeah, very very uh, short uh, today. This will be your last uh, laboratory before your midterm exam. So, hello, guys. Our concern so far for clarification or question. So, take note okay, this is uh, a very important part. Design a simple DC AC converter. So you don't need to uh, make a complicated circuit or a schematic just to come up with a DC-AC converter. So just create a simple one, okay, as long as you can prove that the input is DC and then it will be converted into uh, AC. Okay, so the same with this one, so you can just come up with uh, uh, a simple AC input and then a DC output, okay? So uh, same question or same uh, instructions. So just take a screenshot of the schematic of the DCC and then the graph of the voltage input and then the voltage output so that uh, we can compare that this DC input really became an AC output. Same with this one. This AC input really became an uh, DC output. All right? So. That's it for your uh, lab eight and lab nine. So are you guys sure that you guys do not have a question or a clarification? Answer. Okay, so I'm from Mr. Eda and Miss Gagadas. And then, all right. And then one more thing. So the register is still right now. So we will not be meeting on this coming Monday since uh, next week, Thursday, will be your midterm exam already. Okay, so use that time on Monday to uh, finish all of the laboratories uh, that I gave, especially this one, okay? The laboratory eight and then ninth laboratory. All right, so that's it for this uh, meeting agenda. And good luck to your midterm exam. Thank you, sir. Thank you, too, for coming. Okay, 
So if you guys do not have a question anymore, so you guys may now go and have a blessed afternoon to all of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you.